Are there different treatments that can be added to 7 plus 3 chemotherapy? So in terms of treatment for leukemia, we have what we call the backbone of treatment. The backbone of treatment for younger patients is 7 and 3. The backbone of treatment for older patients these days is hypomethylating agents and venetoclax. Okay, so these are the two backbones for depending on what age the patient is. There are now modifications of that backbones depending on whether they have a particular mutation, for example, FLT3 or IDH or NPM1. Um, there are modifications to that backbone you make. And you know one of the first things we do when a patient comes in, you send this mutational panel and you get some of these results back in 48 hours and that changes what, what modification of the backbone you wanna use. And for people where there is no targeted agents that are standard to be put on, you still have clinical trials that are adding a third drug to the backbone so that to improve the outcomes of that group that don't have the um, currently available sort of third agent or backbone drug that's um, you know added, so it's a complicated uh, you know process where depending on the mutational profile and the chromosomes, which is the cytogenetics, you decide you want to stick to the standard of care with the um, with the backbone plus a targeted agent, for example, um, or you say there are no targeted agents that can be added to the backbone, and in that case, you can then enroll them into clinical trials that you know, add several other agents to improve outcomes from, from seven and three. The goal of all of that is to get to the deepest possible remission so that you're in the best state um, before going into transplant, or even if you're not transplanted, getting into that deepest possible remission is important for, for curability. And the same thing for older patients with hypomethylate agents and venetoclax as routine on clinical trials. You already have your backbone. We know the backbone's good, but it's not perfect. There are so many other drugs that could be added, antibodies that are added to it, targeted agents added to that backbone. And that's where, again, clinical trials are important because um, that initial treatment might impact the ability to get into that deep leukemia remission state that is important for curability. If someone has a specific mutation, what we call a targetable mutation, meaning that we have a drug for it. So a perfect example is FLT3. FLT3 is considered, uh, if someone has that mutation, is typically considered a poor prognostic marker. But there, are, there is therapy now approved for FLT3 mutated AML um, that increases the response rates. And so there's a drug called mitostorin, for example. So that's given upfront in addition to seven and three, and then given uh, in addition to consolidation. So that's one example of where uh, specific drugs are added to the backbone of seven and three, depending on a particular marker. And there are a few other examples like that. Mm -hmm.